everyone, thank you for watching Makeup by Analicia. In this video, I am going to be talking about my personal experience with a skincare mishap that happened recently where my face was chemically burned and had a very bad allergic reaction. I am going to be giving my suggestions on first aid tips if this happens to you or if you know somebody that it has happened to. I'm also going to be giving you four easy steps to follow to prevent something like this from happening to you and to maximize the results from your skincare and makeup products. So if you are interested in hearing more about these topics, then please continue watching. First of all, let me just tell you that if you ever burn yourself in any way, shape, or form and are experiencing pain and have an emergency, it is always best to call 911. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, get it looked at by a professional. I'm just telling you my story as a suggestion of things that you can try after you've sought medical attention first. I am in no way saying that this is how to handle a chemical burn. I am in no way acting as a physician or anything. I'm just telling my story. So do not use ice. I read and googled and stuff and they said do not use ice. So it said on there not to use oil, not to use butter, not to use oatmeal, not to use anything that's going to get sticky and clog your pores because basically it needs to heal and if you just clog it up more it's not going to be able to heal so to rinse with cool water so for a few minutes I sat under the sink and just rinsed my face with cool water and it was very soothing and you know I didn't want to clean it with any antiseptics or anything that would be harsh on my skin that would harm it even further. So all I could use at that point was water. This is the aloe vera gel that I used. Aloe vera cooling gel with soothing lidocaine. And it's called After Sun. So I opted to use that makeup because it's all natural and it doesn't harm the skin and it stays on the surface. It doesn't seep into the pores. The blisters went away within the first couple of days and then I was just left with the redness and the bumpiness and then came the peeling. So then it peeled and I tried not to mess with it. I tried not to scratch it. Since my skin was burning so much and it was itching so much and nothing was really gonna relieve it. Um, I got me this gel, it's called Burn Gel Plus Water Jet First Aid for Burn, Scalds, and Sunburns Moisturizing with Vitamin E Fast Pain Relief Helps Stop Burn Progression Protects Against Infection Cools and Soothes and so it does all of those things. This product is amazing and it was a lifesaver for me because it really helped to heal my skin. All these products follow as directed, but this was an amazing, amazing product. It basically numbed the whole area so that I didn't feel the burning and I didn't feel the itching anymore. It was amazing. This product is amazing. Moving on, my first form of advice would be check the expiration dates on all your skincare and makeup products. They have expiration dates for a reason. Just because it comes in a jar this big doesn't mean that it's going to last you forever. They are all perishable items so it is going to go bad. Anything that you have that's been left out or that's been opened and has been allowed to get air into it and you know it's going to get bacteria it's going to get germs and it's going to just get old and expire and that is what can accumulate over time just from using it multiple times maybe from sharing just from leaving a jar open from putting your finger in it I mean there's so many ways that your skincare products can become contaminated and so that's why you don't want to keep them for longer than their expected shelf life. Two, mascaras, makeup, anything like this 
do not share them with your friends. Just because something works on you does not mean it's going to work on them. You do not want to be responsible for causing an allergic reaction to somebody that you care about. So do not share makeup. Do not especially share lipstick or eye products because eye infections can be spread that way and um, herpes, hepatitis can be spread through um, lipsticks. And so, you know, just to be on the safe side, do not share your makeup with other people. My third point of advice that I am going to give with you today is anytime you buy a new product, especially a skincare product, they always have on the label that you use the product as directed. Make sure you read the instructions. Make sure you read the instructions and are using it according to the manufacturer's specific directions because you do not want to um, misuse it and end up hurting yourself or someone else. One of the main things that is suggested in every single product that I have ever used is the patch test. Say this was like a skincare cream, for instance. What you would do is you would find a small patch of skin to test this out on and you would put it on that patch of skin like so. This could be a cream, a lotion, a skincare product, a mask, a foundation, anything. You put it on your skin and use as directed on the package. Then you just wait. The wait can be anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, just depending on the instructions given in your particular product. And what this does, it allows you time to see whether or not the product is going to give you an allergic reaction or if it's going to burn you. And you can test it out just on a small area of skin. So if your skin does get burned and does get an allergic reaction, it will be in a small unseen part of your skin that will be easy to conceal and you'll know not to use that product. And then step four is when using a particular skincare regimen, make sure that all the products are of the same brand so that you know the chemicals and ingredients inside of the skincare will work together. It's just like taking medicine. When you take medicine, you have to tell your doctor what you're taking because they don't want to prescribe you something that's going to mix badly with that particular medication. That's kind of how I view it. So when you're using a skincare line, you want to stick to the same line for the different issues that you may have. If you stick to one line, not only are the chemicals going to work well together, but you're going to get a better result. Um, you, you are going to get the best result from that company. If you want to try Dr. Brandt, then just use all Dr. Brandt products. If you want to, you know, use, you know, Clinique, then use all the recommended Clinique products. You know, try not to mix and match too, too much. And if you don't like it, then try a different brand next time. Two, once your skin um, has been used to a certain line, sometimes it can become somewhat immune to it, I guess, is probably not the right word but and it won't have the same results so sometimes it's good to switch up your routine every now and then anyway and you can always can go back to it later I hope that you found this informative and I hope that it helps you and keeps you from having the same bad experience that I had and um, like I said again if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today then um, please feel free to message me, leave your comments. I will definitely do my best to get back to you and answer because I want to make sure you fully understand how to be safe when it comes to skincare and makeup because it's fun. Just when using skincare products in the future, follow my four simple rules and hopefully it will work out for you. So thank you so much for watching Makeup by Analicia. I have loved talking to you today, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and take care.